top of the morning to you, Args. Well, good morning to you as well, FSG. How are you done? Not too bad, mate. Not too bad. Um, this is a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah, we're a long way from Western Australia, or uh, wherever we were, Aussie Farms, and uh, we're somewhere much, much greener. We are. We are at Agarley Farm in Northern Ireland. Yeah, it's uh, it's exciting to be somewhere somewhere different and trying out something a little bit new. We got a phone call from Seamus. It was a very, very timely phone call. If you want to explain a little bit more about it. Yeah, Seamus was watching our uh, Aussie Farm series, actually, and uh, he's a farmer up here. He's struggling with ill health at the moment, so can't run the farm. Knew that we were uh, looking for somewhere else to go, so uh, so called us up and asked if we would uh, be happy to run his farm for a season for him. Yeah, it's uh, perfect timing, perfect timing indeed. Now, we do realise it wasn't one of the options on the poll we put out. I think Bally Springs came out on top of that, but there was also a lot of feedback around uh, Bally Springs being done to death already by other content creators and we thought well this has come along what an opportunity to play on a map that neither of us has played on that's right and it is it is just out as well isn't it Args? um it's out as a beta at the moment um you can pick it up from um shane 5465 who's the map maker his his uh, discord is uh, the farmhouse i believe so we'll put a link to that in the description as well yeah that's right so uh we're sticking to our uh never playing on maps that aren't publicly available so this is available to you to download that's right yes indeed so um should we go and have a look at the farm i, I came a day early so seamus gave me a little bit of a tour around so if you want i can uh, show you what's what yeah you do that you've definitely uh definitely done the legwork in getting this one sorted out so um take it away show me around all right well let's head down over here to the first farm and uh, have a look at what's here there's not much up here but uh, uh we've got animals here Okay, sounds good. Do we get to use the Defender? Not yet. Patience. Ah, huh, okay. All right. <laughs> right, so yes, we're split over two farms, Args. Um There's 70 cows up here, and you can see the shed just over to our right here. In fact, I'm going to jump over the wall. And a leap in a single bound. Very impressive. See that? Impressive, eh? Yeah, you've been working out. So we've got... Um, yeah, 70 cows in here. Quite tight, these are. Like, everything's really tight. Um, so getting in here, you'll see you can't run a tractor right through the shed, so we're going to have to be clever with our little Keenan feeder. But I think all our, all our machinery is relatively uh, appropriate for the size of the farm. Nice. Okay, Ox, here is uh, what is left of last year's harvest as well. So there's a little bit here to keep the cows going for a little bit longer, but I don't think it's going to last too long. Um, and the seventy cat and the seventy cows at the other farm as well. So, okay, we're going to be splitting our resources between the two of them, keeping them all happy. I think so. Yeah, I think so. So really, all that's up here is uh, this uh, telehandler, mm -hmm. this nice old JCB telehandler. But this is where the main silo is, the main bunker for silage. So, right, I imagine we're going to be tipping up here quite often. Okay. Oh, interesting. Looking forward to that. It's uh, it's pretty tight. There's not much space to turn around. There isn't. No, we're going to have to be. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to have some fun with this. Hmm, that's exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Now I believe that is where the milk goes, but I'm not entirely sure. I think we've uh, there's a milk collection service anyhow, so we really just have to make sure the cows get milked and uh, someone comes and picks it up and goes to market and gets sold. That's right. That's right. Okay. Um, let us jump into the defender and we'll head down to the other farm. Right, Args, welcome to farm number two. Thank you, nice to be down here as well. Uh, see the cows all out there in their pasture enjoying the sunshine, getting a good feed. It's a nice little view looking across there. It is lovely, and that's one thing about this map, some nice views out to the sea on them as well. Yeah, nice. A bit more space down here too, just looking around. That's right, this seems to be, from what I can gather, the, the kind of main machinery yard, just for that reason, there's a lot more space. Um, sure. So... There is a, so this is the feed tractor and tr um, the feeder. They've got a couple of old Fords here, which I think they just use for kind of yard work and things like the more simple tasks. Yeah. Uh, but a nice old 8210 there, which runs really well. I'll be uh, keeping an eye on those to make sure they don't disappear off to court farms very closely. <laughs> there's a possibility. There's a possibility. <laughs> um, and then there's this nice John Deere mower, which I've not seen before, but it's got... Um, it's got a few options at the back, for, so it'll swath drop and everything, so we don't have to worry about windrowing necessarily. Oh, nice. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, nice uh, 
7300 John Deere forage chopper. Yeah. In a late 80s style one. So there's definitely a mix of new and old machinery. Yep. Probably quite a good size. You wouldn't want anything much bigger than that on the farm anyhow. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. No. Fresh supplies of seed fertilizer, um, silage additive, and things like that as well. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All readily good. available. Um. Here we go, we've got a very small class Tucano combine in there, which looks relatively new, which is quite nice. Yeah, it's nice and shiny. Yep. Uh, what is this in here? This is a 7710 old Ford, even older than the uh, 8210. I think they use that for bale loading. Very similar to the 6610 that I had, we had growing up. Yeah. Except it's got a cab on it. I didn't have the pleasure of a cab. Oh, did you not? We well, have better weather than us. No. <laughs> True. Um, nice small compact chrome pickup wagon again. I think that'll be handy for the grass if we're not uh, needing to bale it. But we'll maybe bale some because there's a bale trailer there as well. So I guess it's up to us. I guess. Yeah, it gives us some some different options as well. And then through here we've got slightly older class Roland baler. Lovely. Classic Irish dually tipping trailer. Not nice. See a lot of them on the roads in Northern Ireland. Yep, I'm already uh, getting the nervous sweats about getting some of this equipment down the lanes <laughs> and around the around the yards. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. There's a little uh, there's a little John Deere gator in there as well. I'm not sure if that'll come in handy for moving headers around and stuff because here's the head of the combine. Yeah, not a massive header. I've got a nice crone bale wrapper here as well. Excellent. And uh, the shiny stuff in here caught my eye. This is where the bigger tractors are. So this is the modern stuff, yeah. Um, there's a T7 here. Not massive horsepower T7, but uh, I don't think you need a lot of horsepower on here for the equipment we'll be using. Yeah, I've been looking at that, sort of the size-wise. Um, Amazon spreader. Yeah, Amazon uh, spreader, spreader. And uh, cedar there as well, again. Mm -hmm. Pretty narrow stuff, but when you see the field sizes, you'll realise that uh, you can't really get much bigger in some of them than that. Yeah, fair enough. Nice little case as well. Yep. So everything from the CNH um, in the tractor space from the CNH yeah, yeah. factory. <laughs> Gone through the catalogue. That's right. Uh, and then a little Pottinger wind uh, tether. We've got a nice Cavernland planter there. And we have got a Crone Swadro windrower. And that is our lot. Lovely. That's, uh, that's good. Looking forward to getting into actually using some of it. Um... And we've got a few fields. I suppose we should have a look at the map and see what we've got land-wise. We've obviously been to these two farms, but they do come with a few fields attached to them. They do indeed, yeah. Let's just jump into the map. So we're down here at the bottom, which is plot number five, and that has, what, the three arable fields around it, 56, 58, and 60. I think one of them's been harvested, but the other two need to be harvested. Um, and then there's a couple of grass fields too, isn't there? There is a couple of grass fields, 61 and 57 of the grass fields there. So, um, yeah, some crops there. Um, they also have linked along the coast there, and there's nothing been done with these yet. There is grass in them, but um, yeah. they're kind of up to us what we do with those. But there's four fields running along the edge of the seaside there, which is quite a nice, will nice. be quite a nice view. Might get a bit distracted by the view running. Yeah, there. that's it. That's it. And uh, back at Agley Farm, there is two relatively big fields there. Uh, 20 and 30 and a little grass paddock at 21 as well so and it's 22 as well oh, of course yeah 22 a little bit further yeah. up so we are not yeah. short of grass to get into that bunker no that's right so i think that's uh probably going to be our first task today is it getting to do some mowing um if you say it's got a windrow function on the back of that mower that sort of saves the job and we can mow pick up and get it compacted that's right we should get stuck in i think there's quite a lot to do and i'm worried those cows are going to run out of food Hmm, all right. Well, uh, what's your preference? Are we going to start mowing down here? Are you, I think you mentioned something about the field out the back here that's got the uh, big power lines running through it. We could tackle that one and start running up and down. That's right. If we move this um, if we move this feeder out of the way here, uh, we can run through the shed with the mower and get that started, couldn't we? Okay. Yeah, sounds good. All right. You got a preference? Not really, no. I'll let you choose. Okay. Um, I've had the tour, so uh, I'll let you pick pick your poison. Might grab a mower and go and start doing some mowing. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting actually. I was just thinking about the fact that uh, we don't have a lot of duplicate equipment, so it is going to be more of a working together on tasks rather than. Absolutely. Yeah, teamwork, this one. Teamwork, yeah, working concurrently rather than working together. 
Right, I'll grab a tractor and go and get mine. Good stuff, I will follow you straight away with the bale. Right, let's just get this parked up here, out of the way for now. We'll obviously need to use this at some point with the animals, but hello everyone! Welcome to Agaly Farm! Uh, quite excited about how this is going to go. Args is going to grab the mower there. I think he's going to take the T7 because it was at the front. And why not? It's a lovely tractor. I can hear it. So we might just see it any second now. Yep, there he is. Already a three-point turn to get out of these very, very tight yards. Um, but we'll let him get into place and get organised. And then we'll follow along. We'll jump into the little case. Grab that little class round baler and we'll follow him down. So... There we go, we'll get it hooked up. This is an interesting mower. With a uh, few different options at the back of it. So he's going to get sorted there. In fact, I'll head down here and I'll open these gates for him. So yeah, you have to drive through the cow shed here to get to the other side. But there we go, you basically open these straight onto the field. But look at that, it's lovely grass. So... He'll not struggle here. I'll let him uh, pull into position and get started. Right, this little Case Maxim is a very nice little tractor, actually. Not massive horsepower, but like I said, the machinery we're running and the size of the farm we're on, we can't really run anything massive. And I quite like that. Off the back of uh, Aussie, where we had so much space and all of that, it's a real shift in the way we approach doing things having the smaller equipment like even some of these sheds you can barely fit equipment in them because they're so low so um space is at a premium as well so we will quickly get ourselves sorted follow logs we'll give them a little bit of time to uh, do a couple of headlands and things we'll maybe watch them for a few seconds while we wait and then we'll follow him around so there we go he started off here I like the fact that we've got this kind of uh, lighter texture underneath the grass as well. That's it, basically grass doesn't get the light when it's this long, so it does kind of lose its colour when it's uh, right at the bottom. So uh, I quite like that. I've not seen that on a map before, so that's cool. But there's Argus going pretty quickly already, so things are moving fast. And he's um, putting down a windrow here rather than it being spread all over the ground as well. So. It's cutting out one step of the process, which is great. So this is this cool mower. Look, once he's done one headland, he can go round and double up our swath on the other side, um, which is quite good. So I think that gives us enough space now to get stuck in and get some bailing done. We are fired up, drop down. Now August is moving pretty quickly, so he's going to probably pass us, but we're going to produce bales relatively quickly as well I think. Now this swath is quite wide. I am going to miss a few bits if I'm not careful. We just need to pay attention while I'm doing this but uh, so far so good. Right I guess there's nothing else to do but to push on and uh, get things going. I'll turn automatic drop on as well. There we go. And hope these don't roll down the hills. Right, we will see you in a little while after we've got a little bit of this done. Right, I am on the last headland here. Argus has battered around this field in no time at all. This is one of the nice things about one of these smaller... One of these smaller maps is that you can feel like you're making a lot of progress 
quite quickly because you're getting through full fields in no time at all. We'll just nudge that bale out of the way there. But this is us on our last headland as well, so we're not a million miles behind him. He's going to go and get the wrap. Oh, I've spotted a few things up there, though. I maybe missed a few rows in the middle. Um, but yes, we're, uh, we're going to get this done. And then I think Args is going to go and grab the wrapper. We're going to be on the um, bale loading. So that could be fun. We shall wait and see how that goes. Anyhow, first things first, let's get this field finished. So we'll uh, be back and have a chat when we're done. That was a good start there, mate. Yeah, it's going well, isn't it? That wrapper looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, now it's working out really well, actually. Just trying to figure out how it all works and goes together. But uh, unfortunately, I think if I'm wrapping, it means you're loading. It does. <laughs> We're not really playing to our strengths here, are we? Uh, I think you're playing on better ping. We'll see how it goes. I can I can give you a hand once you've got started. Maybe we'll do a load each or something. All right, let's see how it goes. Now, I'm going to go and buy the Gaville, um bale grab that doesn't spike the bales, because I know everybody gets upset when I stick a, stick a spike through my silage bales. So we'll try and do it properly. Right, fair enough. All right, good on you. All right, mate. I'll carry on getting some wrapping done. Yeah, have fun. See you in a bit. Right, there we go. We're uh, done here. Can I get rid of this last 60%? No, it's just going to have to sit in that baler until such time as we do some more, which is fine. Right, I haven't got time to wash this just now. Um, so we'll just drop it back into here. And then we'll worry about that another time. I'm sure Args will give me a hard time for that. But I'm going to put this back away now because we're going to grab the old Ford TW and we're going to also get that uh, bale grab right into the old Ford and this is the bale grab that we are going to drop off because we don't need this and we're going to go and get the Gavile one which is just over the other side of the yard the brakes on this are a bit questionable oh boy this could this could be fun Right, just going to have to get used to that. Right, let's get this dropped off. And then we will uh, get into the field and see what's going on after that. There we go. All sorted with the bale grab. Everything working as it should. Right, let's get this into the field. I'm going to get another tractor. Probably the case, actually, with the bale trailer on it because I don't know where we're taking these yet. In fact, I'll just radio Args. There's no, in fact, there's no space down here. There's no point in doing them down here. We might as well take them up to the other farm and unload them there. So let's get this into the field first, and then we'll worry about things after that. At least he's doing the, the right thing and putting them all together for me, which I appreciate. All right, I'm just rolling the combine forward here so we can get that trailer out. This is the problem. Everything's in everything's way. That's the joys of a, a small, tight map, though. There we go. Trailer hooked up. Now, before I disappear off with this, I will put that combine back in place. But look at this. See? See the challenge. So I'm actually going to have to drive out, reverse up the drive, so I can get the turn in. The joys of tight British and Irish farms. I like it. Right, you can't put it off any longer. Args has done a killer job with those, so I have no got to follow up with this, with the terrible brakes. So, wish me luck.
Right. First stack done. That was um, interesting. But it went well. Definitely the, the breaks and the there's a lack of uh, responsiveness, should we call it that, from that tractor, which makes it quite hard. But uh, I've seen worse stacks, to be honest. And Arc's done a brilliant job of compiling all these into one place, which is good, so I'm happy with that. So we'll just position this in a way that uh, means we can load up relatively easily. And we'll keep going. Extra pressure now. Uh, that was that was very impressive, mate. I'm, I'm looking at that stack and going, I don't know if I want to do any loading now. <laughs> I'm quite pleased with myself, actually. It's uh, it's maybe not the straightest, but that I, I, honestly, I should let you have a go with that tractor just so you can feel how uh, sluggish it is under control. It's not oh. responsive in any way, shape or form. Oh, I think you're doing a good job. I'll leave it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. Well, this is, um, this is nearly full, actually. So if I get these last three stacks on, do we want to uh, run this up to the other yard and unload them? Yeah, I was just saying I might grab another one of the grabs for the um, telehandler. Get that set up and I might actually take the feed mixer down and get another load of food mixed up while you're doing that. That's a good call. Yeah, nice one. Cool. All right. I'll, um, I'll meet you down there when you're finished. Sounds good. All right. All right. I won't watch. Thanks. So there we go plan is Arx is going to go and quickly top up the cow's food because they don't have masses um, and then by that time I should be just about ready with this to uh, unload at the other farm now I'm just gonna I just spotted there that's quite far back isn't it so I'm gonna nudge that forward um, it's not perfect this but it's not bad like I said if I had a better tractor poor workman always blames his tools right um, there we go but that's not bad right there's quite a few left here isn't there right let's push on let's get this done do you know what if nothing else I'm really enjoying doing this Right, here we are, last two stacks. You've probably just watched me there really struggle. I don't know what it was. I just lost all my kind of coordination with things, which was kind of funny. Um, but we're kind of back now, I think. Um, the big challenge really is the brakes on this thing. I can't stress enough. Um, there is no close control at all. So every time I try and uh, do any subtle movements to try and get things aligned, it, uh, it goes all over the place, so that's making it a little bit more difficult than it is. But I'm okay with that. I'm trying to get used to it. Pick this one up. I do like that bale wrapper that we had, though, that uh, tips them onto their end when it's wrapped them. Nice little touch, that. That little crone bale wrapper. But, so here's the plan now. Let's get this aligned. Move you up slightly so it doesn't crash into it. Let's get things lined up here. But again, look, I am slamming on the brakes here. And it's rolling past every time. So you've literally got to feather the throttle every time. There we go. That'll do. Um, come back a little bit. And then grab the two of them in the middle. Hopefully sometimes it helps you align them. Other times like that, it doesn't do anything at all. But this is the last two. So I can't mess this up because I haven't strapped down any of those last four. So let's have a really accurate run up to it, shall we? Here we go. Don't mess it up, FSG. Not now. Get our angles right so we can see where we're dropping it. Looks good to me. Well, when I say good. Oh, look, we nudged that first one forward a bit. That's better. Right now, I've just got to be careful. See, it pushes the other ones out of the way talked about that before on court farms Let's see if we can just push this one on without causing any hassle right do you know what I'm gonna leave that 
That will do me. Stop the tractor. Let's get these last ones strapped up and then we'll head up and see Args. There's something nice about this map and what we're doing on this one that not Args's vid and my vid are going to be the same ever because we're all doing different tasks. So with that in mind, you should definitely go and watch both episodes on each of our channels. But uh, there's a good amount of uh, grass on here or silage to be. A little tractor's not struggling, but it's, uh, it's under some load here. And this is nice because we'll be able to drive all the way to the other farm. So you see the journey we can make between the two farms as well. So we've not done that yet. So uh, it'll be fun to do that. And you can get your bearings for where we are on the map and how kind of far in distance it takes us to go from one to the other. Hogs is taking the feed mixer up to feed the cows, as we said before. But look, things like this. I am hugging the silage clamp there. I can't get through there. See that? I can't get through there. I'm going to have to drive along here, reverse back, and then head out. That is how tight this yard is. There was no space there to get any further over. There we go. That should line us up now to get out of here. Explains why there's so many dents and bashes and bends in trailers and sheds and walls on farms doesn't it anyway here we are we are heading up here if you've not seen my map tour we headed up this road there. there's some nice derelict buildings at the end but it's a nice gravel path it takes us back to the main road and on to Agley farm so we'll just wind our way around here very quickly and hopefully at the other end Args will be waiting for us and he can do some of the unloading Got a nice little old JCB telehandler there. A modern classic series telehandler, which is uh, really nice. Reminds me of one we used to have on our farm when I was growing up. So here we go. Here's the road. Here's those derelict buildings. And once again, super tight here. So I'm going to have to hug the right-hand side and get on the verge on the other side just to have enough space to get the trailer done. And then we'll get these unloaded here. And then we'll head back for the others right on the limit there but look squeezed in if we come down here there's hogs with the feeder wagon <laughs> we're gonna have a clash here yeah here's what i'll do i will go into the bunker and then he can get out and feed the animals enjoying that old four dogs yeah it's not a bad beast is it um, it's pretty tight down here though, that's for sure. Yeah, I took two attempts to get in through the gate as well. Yeah, no, I, um, well, the beacon may still be on the top of the JCB, but it did come off when I drove in through the opening in the shed. <laughs> yeah, they are, they're low sheds, aren't they? Yeah, they're outside. I don't know whether we might want to put these bales in the shed here where the JCB was instead. Might be a bit of bit. Alright, yeah, that's a good call. No worries. Keep them separated from the ones that have already fermented as well. Yeah, sounds good. Have you uh, fed the animals here, or are you...? No, no, I was no. only just finishing up with that first mix, so... Right, cool. What do you want to do? Do you want, do you want me to unload this and you can go and feed them, or...? Uh, yeah, if you want, that's not a bad idea, and then I can run back and grab the rest of them. Yep, cool, and I can make another mix up and bring, bring it down, down to those other ones. Alright, sounds good. Sounds good. Alright. Oh well, nice to get a bit of a change of scene from... Uh, doing that uh, bailing the whole time but uh, we've got this lovely Keenan feeder here which is uh, really nice I do like this um, capacity wise what does it hold capacity wise 11,000 litres so it's not massive but we will get out of the way here so Arx can do his unloading and uh, I think what we'll do is reverse into the shed or drive. we could drive in and then reverse out that might be the easiest thing to do that might be the easiest thing to do. Turning circle on this is not brilliant either. So again, let's just get a nice wide turn in. And then point and shoot. Should get a trigger up. There we go. So unload the food. That's uh, ticking down relatively slowly. So let's just check the animals as well. So there we go. You can see the 
TMR capacity going up. Best food we can give them. Uh, everything else, a bit of slurry, uh, no straw. We haven't put straw in for that very reason. We want to use slurry for the fields. Uh, even got a little bit of milk. So the productivity is going up as well. So things are looking good and we are unloaded. So let's roll back out of here and uh, get this prepped for the next run. I think Args will do that as well. If you can get those bales off quickly, we'll be in a good spot. So let's see how he's getting on. I'm just going to leave this here actually out of the way for now. Don't need another tractor up there. Right, Ark's having a little challenge there with that one. It was hard to grab it from that side of the uh, trailer, actually. I wonder if I reverse it a little bit to help him here, just to get those last few off. When he comes back out, he's going to pop those in the shed. And then grab these last two stacks. And then we can head back to the field and get the other load. It's been fun, this. It's been fun, this. This is one of our fields behind us as well, so another big grass field there. Um, and that one, I think, there, that's already been plowed or seeded or cultivated I'll need to check that probably not helped him at all here moving it closer he's got to thread the needle here so he doesn't knock the other ones off but I think he's done it he's a bit of a pro his arcs. so you look at that just pulled it forward slightly oh is that going to go or is that going to fall I think he's got it got enough, enough of purchase on it Well done, Arx. That wasn't easy in a tight space. No, nah, actually that um, telehandler did a good job, actually. It's nice being able to extend the boom out a little bit when I needed to. Yeah, it looks good, that. I should probably use that yeah. on the fields rather than that old Ford with no brakes. Might be a little, might be a little bit easier, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> right, all I've got to do now is try and get this uh, trailer out of here. It's going to be fun. I'm sure you'll, I'm sure you'll figure it out. And uh, what, you've fed the cows, so I'll make one more mix-up for the other ones. Yeah, fed the cows here, but not down at the Fraser's, so yeah. They need a top-up. I might ask you to move those two bales so I can get round that corner. Ah, oh, is it not, not enough of a challenge for you already? <laughs> you can pop them in the, you can pop them in the mixer. Yeah, I will. Alright, sounds good, mate. Cool, mate. See you in a bit. Yep. Right. Let's get on the back down to the field. I'll let Args move that first. And we will uh, take as wide a turn as we can out of here. There he goes. Oh, he's doing a little party trick there. Let's see how we do here. Trailer is out. Get past this wall here. Yep. There we go. Okay. Back to the field it is for us. Right, here we are, back in the field. Let's jump back into another little time lapse. Get all these bales fired on. Right, here we go. Last couple on here, and then we've got one rogue which we will just drop on at the back as well, trying to keep things balanced. I don't want uh, two bales sitting on one side if we haven't got two on the other, so there we go. Job done. That took a while. It feels like hard work. 
in this tractor, but it's a job done. Appreciate it. Well, it's the least I could do for uh, all the loader work you've done down here. It's been good. The cramp. <laughs> You've been cramp. holding on to that farm stick so hard trying to control that tractor. Occupational overuse syndrome. Yeah. Um, so how many bales have you got on there? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 on there. And what was there on the first load? Like 20? Yeah. It's a big haul of bales. Yeah, 35 bales out of the field. It's not bad. Not a bad start. I'm thinking we could probably sell some silage, kind of boost our uh, funds a little bit. We're not going to use all of this. No, that's right, because then it could be something we consider, but uh, I guess we need to leave it to ferment before we can do that. Yeah, obviously, yeah, that's right. But mm. um, maybe use the bunker as well, if we're going to, you do. know, use the use the bales for the care. Isn't there anything extra we can uh, stick in the bunker and sell? Yeah, that's not a bad point too. Not a bad point. Although, actually using the bunker might be easier for the cows, because we can... Uh, ration it a little bit better into how we put it into the feed mix. True, too. yeah, control how much you put in the feeder. Good good call. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's probably a little bit easier to load some bales and sell them than it is bucket loads of silage. That's true, yeah. No, uh, lots of choices. We've got loads to choose there from here, haven't we, Argus? There is. We do, we do. But uh, I was just looking, I think uh, next time we might be having to get that combine out and get some fields harvested, because I think we've only got a window of August to do it. Yeah, we're right at the end of the window for combine now, aren't we? So, yeah. Mm. Um, Mm. And that uh, straw will go and come in handy for uh, bulking up the TMR as well. Yeah, yeah, certainly will. Very good. Well, um, I don't know about you, I think it's probably a good place to wrap things up. Then we'll take these bales down and get them unloaded. But I don't think anyone needs to see any more bale loading and unloading today. <laughs> Not today. I certainly don't. No. Uh, I'll, I'll take care of that for us. And uh, yeah, I we'll guess we'll wrap things up and catch you next week. Yeah, great stuff. A nice start, mate. And uh, this is a great map. Love it. Yeah, I'm enjoying it already so far. The uh, the roads could be a little bit wider and gateways and things like that, but I'll get used to it. That's part of the challenge. It is, it is. It's going to be a good one. All right, well, uh, you have a good week and we'll catch you next week. Yeah, nice one, mate. Take care. All right, catch ya. See you soon. Bye. Yes, there we go, folks. That is us for this week. Um, not a bad first episode. We got quite a lot done there. I think one of the enjoyable things about having a slightly smaller map with slightly smaller fields gives us that opportunity. So um, on that note, I will say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're looking forward to this new series as much as Args and I are. And we'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.